Hi, ladies, and welcome to this week's episode of Comfortable, Confident, Inside and Out, the show where we bring you top mentors in the areas of business, health, wellness, and finance to have them share with you their top tips to help you feel comfortable everywhere that you go. So have you ever wanted to know the yes and no in your body? Well, if so, and in, in store for today's great treat is Brooke Wolf is here. She is an emotional body mapper, and she's here to share with us the simple ways to build intuition, build trust, and be able to speak your truth every time. So welcome, Brooke. Thank you so much for being here. Um, absolutely, absolutely. So before we get started, I wanted to just, uh, you might be wondering well, who I am and what this is all about. And those are great questions. So I'm Suzanne Gunderson, and I'm a holistic stress relief mentor, and I help women to be able to relieve anxiety, chronic stress, and build confidence. So that way they can get into alignment with who they truly are and improve their relationships and improve their health, their emotional health, their mental health, and their physical health. So I created this show called Comfortable, Confident, Inside and Out to be able to help women be empowered with you know, reprogramming the stress, revitalizing their energy, and being able to truly get the confidence and clarity to burst forward in life. So I'm so excited to, to welcome Brooke to the show. So Brooke, please tell us all about yourself and what you're passionate about. Well, I love that oh. burst forward. <laughs> <laughs> that feels very right for me. Uh, so yeah, I am an emotional body mapper. I created this modality because I really am super passionate about listening and tuning into the language of the body, recognizing that the body actually has its own language and a very personalized language. And so over the course of many years, I studied all sorts of modalities. And, and yeah, this part, of course, is like the part that I'm like, oh, I could talk forever, right? So between Ayurveda and Chinese medicine, and astral projection and Chine Song and all these words that nobody really knows and nobody really cares about anyway. What we really care about is the transformation. So, uh, but yeah, that and art and minimalism and social justice and all sorts of things. I really believe consciousness in general does not serve to be compartmentalized. Mm. So uh, for me, my passions in life has always been an, an ultimate consciousness. You know, how can I be the most conscious human being in this world, really leave this world a better place than I came in, right? So. Simple mission, simple mission. <laughs> we have opportunities every single day. Well, thank you so much. I know you, you come with so much enthusiasm and passion and good vibes. So we're so excited to have you here. So ladies, if you're watching us, you know, have you struggled with trying to identify the difference between the yes and no in your body? You know, I know so much of us get cluttered in the overthinking thoughts that we have that we're just not able to really know what's a yes or what's a no. So we've got yeah. Brooke here to share with us kind of a some simple approach in order to help know the difference. Because when you know the difference, you be, yeah, you're so empowered to be able to go in that direction of really, you know, bursting into your future with that confidence and clarity. Yeah. So, so Brooke, share with us, you know, what, what is the simple approach that we have that you got to share with us? Yeah. So before this, I used to have personally, like I used to have what they call indecisivitis. I don't know, ladies, do you have something called this? Like you go to a menu and you can't even figure out what to order. Like you can have these moments where you're like, uh, do I go on this vacation or that? Do I go to this college? Do I go to that college? I don't know. And like, I think we live in this world of like FOMO, you know, and like, it's like everything we're going to miss out on. So learning these tools of like what everything is essentially just narrowed down into a yes or a no category when it really comes down to it. And then I also believe that we as women have difficulty saying no very often. We have difficulty saying no to hurt somebody else's feelings. So recognizing what serves you serves everyone, mm -hmm. right? And really honoring that in full completion. So once you really do know it in your body and your body's saying no, just keep that in mind. What serves me serves everyone. 
right? So that you can verbally say like, okay, I'm honoring what my body's saying right now. And my body says no. Right. So Click that gonna... in the comments right now, ladies, what serves me serves everybody. Put that in the comments to make sure you really get it inside of you. What serves me serves everyone. So many of us have been so conditioned to say yes to things outside of ourselves and say no to ourselves. And we didn't even realize that we're doing it. And a lot of the work that we do on our group page, and when you work with me in my programs, is to start unraveling all of that self-betrayal and come back into your authenticity again. Give yourself permission to be you. So what serves me serves everybody. Type that into the comments. We want to say that yes. you're paying attention, you're listening here. It's a great, yeah, great there, statement. There is no such thing as obligation. All that is BS. <laughs> I'm going to do my best to not swear, but I swear like a pirate. So, um, so let's go right into the practice, right? Let's do this yes or no. And knowing that what serves you serves everyone, right? Mm -hmm. So as soon as we do this practice, let's honor it and know that you can do this practice multiple times so that it's not just right now as we're, you're watching this video, as you're really tuning into your body, sometimes listening to somebody else like me may not let you be able to totally tune in so you can easily take this practice to another time all by yourself and within five minutes do a little journal entry this is a really short easy and simple so let's just start with a yes yeah so what I want you to do right now is think of three things you would definitely say yes to right now like a super sexy man uh, trip around the world that you get to go as long as it takes you. You can pick up your friends along the way. You can drop off your friends along the way. You can keep going back home to see people. You just get to travel the world for free and all the five-star luxury that you want. You get a lottery ticket. What are, what are you feeling in your body? Like when you receive this emphatic yes, what does it feel like in your body? Where does it start in your body? Does it start in your chest? Does it start in your belly? Does it have a color? Does it have a weight? Does it move upwards? Does it move downwards? Does it stay in that space? If you were gonna give it a material, what kind of material would you make this yes? Is it light? Is it heavy? How does it feel in your body? And if you are having difficulty, just keep going back. Keep going back to that thing you would definitely, right now, definitely say yes to. If you were handed this thing, you would be like, hell yeah, I want that. That's what I want you to feel. If you have to close your eyes, close your eyes. Really try to connect. Mm -hmm. That weight shape, color, movement. Now that you have a clear understanding over your yes, we're gonna switch it to, you know, the not as fun one. But now you know what that yes feels like and you know what to think about to get that feeling in your body. You have two things right now, right? So if you wanna type on the side right now and you wanna let me know, what made you feel that yes? What was that thing that made you feel that yes? What shape is it? What color is it? Where is it in your body? Type any of this in the comments. Now let's go to that no. That emphatic no that you would say no to. Somebody's hurting your family. You have a job that you have to do every single day inside of a cubicle with no windows from nine to five. You have no days off for two years in a cubicle. And you're typing monotonous work and you have five bosses telling you what to do every day. And the only day that you have off, you help a friend move and you have to go up five flights of stairs with their furniture and all they have for you is some beer and pizza in the end. How does that feel in your body? That emphatic no, the thing you would definitely say no to right now, that thing that makes you feel stuck. Mm. Where do you feel this in your body? What kind of weight is this? 
Does it contract your body? Does it open, expand your body? What does it do to your body connecting to that no? Does it have a color? Does it move up? Does it move down? Does it stay in one stagnant place? Is it an absence of feeling? <clears throat> Sometimes the no is an absence of feeling. Sometimes the yes is an absence of feeling. The importance is that we recognize the difference of the two. Mm. So I want you to type again, type into the side. What was that? No. What does it feel like? Where does it move? What is, what part of your body is it? Does it feel like a choking thing? What does it feel like for you? What material is it? Is it sludgy? Is it yeah. metal? What yeah, is when it? you were just talking about that, I thought, oh yeah, I know my no. My no just uh -huh. feels so like sludgy, gluey slow it feels gray and dark it just feels like uh, just yuck it, 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 for me it was like steam out of a sewer it was just <laughs> yucky does it have a smell yeah, smelly <laughs> didn't feel good at all didn't feel and good. what about your yes did you have a yes feeling yeah my yes was like such excitement and exhilaration like i just got so excited um, it was, it was like, I stood up straight and I, 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 I had like just a burst of energy that flew through me and it was, it was very clear. Um, it felt very, it felt, it felt and looked bright, you know? So it yeah, was very, yeah. very, so those are really different feelings. Oh, totally. <laughs> so yeah. like once you kind of have these feelings, now we have these feelings, right? And I would say like, not always are they that extreme, right? Because these are like guarantees, like ultimate yes or an ultimate no and a lot of the time we have a gray area right and i would say if it's not an emphatic yes it's a no later but that's just me personally um <laughs> and i believe that we serve to be doing everything with joy and with like and and what we, what is brings us joy and passion and all those things and mm -hmm. that makes us better at what we do in life However, you know, we're not always going to have that extreme feeling when we're in a space, but what we will have is subtle versions of these, right? We're going to have subtle moments. And sometimes it's just an absence of the yes feeling, an absence of that clarity, that bright feeling, that standing upright feeling, all those things that you were feeling that let us know that maybe... Like for me, my no is actually an absence of feeling. It's really, really minimal and it's quite hard for me to like discern my no. So for a long time, I had difficulty saying no because I didn't really have that much of a bodily reaction. But what I realized was my yes was so powerful that like I knew because it didn't feel like yes at all that it was a no. So... I think that's why knowing both yes and both no are so important because one will inherently be more strong in your body probably. Mm -hmm. And also you can type on a side, ladies, which one's stronger for you? So, you know. Yeah, so. Let us know. We definitely want to know which one's stronger for you, the yes or the no. And, and I would venture to suspect because one of the activities that we do in the Empowered Tapping Revolution, the, the, the Facebook group, is to be able to practice saying no and articulating the words no, because when we don't know how to say yes to ourselves, we need to start saying no to everybody else. Because if it's not a hell yes for them, then we have to practice saying no. So just yeah. saying the words. So we do it as an exercise about once a month. No, 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 no. And to help us be able to protect ourselves from any further self-betrayal that we may have been going through. And one thing I would also say about no is very often we try to use our head when we're saying no to people. We give excuses, we give reasons, we give clarifications. We're not in debate, we're not in a law. Like if you're using your head to describe how you're feeling, then you're already in the wrong place, right? So like I would say, all you have to say ever <laughs> yeah. is no, I don't feel like it. And if someone responds back like, well, blah, 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 but what about, like, you could just repeat it. Like, and I think sometimes we think we need to come up with a new statement. Like maybe they didn't hear me, so I have to say it differently. Yeah. And we don't. And we can just say, no, I don't feel like it. And you can yeah, smile like, with it. Like, no. like we just launch into a bunch of excuses and feel like we have to justify 
when we're just feeling no. And when you get excuses and you give excuses, you get excuses back and reasons why you should and can, you know, like what you're really doing is opening it up to debate. And you don't want to actually open anything up to debate when you don't want to do something. So don't give the excuses, don't give the reasons, just give the only <clears throat> one that matters, which is you don't feel like doing it. It's not in your body. Your body doesn't feel it, you know? So like no one can argue with a body. And if they try, they kind of sound like asses. So to me, that's like the easiest way is keep it short. Not right now. No, I don't feel like it. Like you can make so many different ways that it's like, that may work for you, but for me, it does not, you know? No, thank you. Yeah. And give yourself permission, ladies, to be able to speak wherever you're feeling as the biggest authority in your life. I mean, your gut is your biggest brain of your body. It is not the thing up here. This is the processor. Your gut's the biggest brain. Your heart's the second biggest brain. These things live in your body. So mm -hmm. practicing, you know, what your yeses are and practicing what your noes are, are gonna help you in those instances of really needing to ask yourself, what is this, a yes or a no? And then believe yeah, the answer. Yeah, this is entirely on choice too. And I think very often we use this word decision and we're already going in the wrong place. So decision comes from the Latin root to cut away. So you're already thinking that you're gonna lose something when you're making a decision, right? But when you're making choice, it comes from that gut. It comes from that expansion. It comes from that open space of infinite possibilities. And in that space of infinite possibilities, we know to choose us. We know inherently to choose what serves us. Going back to the beginning, what serves you serves everyone, right? Yes, yes. And I think we're coming into these transformational times where we're all building momentum toward doing what serves us the most. And, you know, as women journey through my mentoring program, I often say that, you know, you're on the right track when you start standing up for yourself in a way that's really like a strong pushback. Like it's almost like you're throwing up on somebody. You're like, Ah, and that's how it comes out and you're like well I need to like learn some finesse about that a little bit but at least you got it out so you like got it out and then you spit it out and then from there you go okay well at least it's coming out of me this is good and now next time I can do it with a little bit more finesse and a little bit more grace and a little bit more compassion as you learn to stand in your body's authority of what it is that you truly need to do to serve yourself you know we've just yeah. been so disempowered and so conditioned to be serving things outside of ourselves that it is awkward and uncomfortable and a lot of anxiety comes from that because we don't know how to feel safe in our body's experience because we're so used to believing somebody else's authority and it really is time for us to claim our authority within our body's wisdom hell yeah this is a great simple technique Brooke. so thank you so much for sharing with us i think everyone's going to go home and practice their yeses now and their noes that way they know exactly what it feels like in those other parts of their life where they're not certain they can start to ask their body which way does it lead which way does it go yeah, exactly keep building rapport i love this empowerment i love it it feels so good yeah. but yeah i mean of course it's going to come out all wonky at the beginning like and especially if you're like essentially it's passive aggressiveness if you're holding it right but the cool thing is is those that love you the most and want to be there for you are going to accept all of the like oh this is coming out like vomit they're going to very much accept it right like i have definitely accepted my friends who were learning how to ask for help and they just didn't totally say it the right way at the beginning i just let them know hey next time you could say it like that I'm here for you. <laughs> and also for those of you, and I know many women tell me how alone you feel and that you can't be authentic with the people around you, that there are people that exist on this planet that will offer you that compassionate, thoughtful space. So if you yeah. don't have it right now, you know you have this community to lean on with the Empowered Tapping Revolution. Always we'll be here to be able to hold that space for you. So you might not have that very loving, thoughtful person in your life, and that's okay. You know, there are people out there just keep coming and you've got us. Come back to us. You've got us. And yeah, I mean, the truth is, yeah, we have, 
yeah, it serves us all to kind of learn that we're all human, right? And we all make mistakes and everybody screws up and all of that. And if you don't have people that see that and are comfortable with the vulnerability of our humanness, then I'm here for you and so are you, Susan. Yeah, so well, we're all looking for that relief and that freedom. And that really comes from just giving yourself permission to be where you're at in that moment. And it is not perfect. And it is, it is, it is not perfect. It's okay. It doesn't have to be. Never. And Never. Ever. The more you give yourself permission, you'll give permission to the other people around you. So mm -hmm. definitely practicing that as a Yeah. Less judgment inward, less judgment outward. But so, yeah, so yeah. <sighs> thank you so much for having me. And uh, yeah, I'm just so grateful for being able to share this little tidbit of wisdom. And, and a beautiful practice that I love doing often just to kind of tune in and sometimes the feelings change and I like mm -hmm. to know how it changes in my body. Uh, one last thing, I guess, right? Yes, yes, yes. Well, leave us with some good parting words. So I use one line every single day to see where I need healing and what types of healing serve me. And essentially the question I ask myself is what or whom am I giving my power to right now? And essentially I believe all healing is surrounded by us finding our power again and realizing where we're giving our power. So mm -hmm. if we can just use that as a daily check-in, what or whom am I giving my power to? And then we can fuel our own power in that center. I do feel we can learn how to heal our bodies, heal our hearts, heal our minds, heal so much of the world once we own that we're magically, infinitely powerful as human beings. So. Brilliant. I love it. Thank you so much for sharing that. And I, I love what you said just before that about like, the less self-judgment, the less judgment out in the world. So mm -hmm. kind of marries together. Mm -hmm. Keep, you know, re re revitalize your energy, ladies, and re by reclaiming your power. You know, use these simple techniques to be able to really reprogram your stress and no longer be disempowered and be weakened and have energy leaks all over in your life. Yeah, so. you can't you can't give with an empty cup, right? So make sure it's an abundantly f overflowing cup. And if it's right. not there, then we can get you there. <laughs> so. You can always refill from the infinite source. You can. <laughs> it's so, there. Thank you, Brooke, for being here and sharing all your wisdom. Um, if you want to get more connected with Brooke, I'm going to have all of her contact information in the description box of this video. No matter if you're wherever, whatever media source you're watching it from, it will be in the comment section. And um, of yeah, course, next, go ahead. next Monday in my group, I have a free like boot camp that's three days through the entire emotional body map. So if you want to learn more about this kind of stuff, next week is the week to be in my group. <laughs> What's the name of your group? Emotional body mapping for the emotional mindful out of nomad. Awesome. So go look her up on emotional body mapping and the link for the description, the, the link uh, for the Facebook group will be in the description box. So you can always check it out there. So. Thanks everybody uh, for listening and participating today. I can't wait to read all of your comments and see what your yeses and no's were described as. If you have any questions for us, feel free to reach out to us and uh, we will see you in the next video. Bye everybody. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you.